Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, September 21st, 2023 at 11.39 a.m. in the morning. Wow, this is what just happened. So I finally got rid of all those extra bags. Are they freezing my phone? They're trying to freeze my phone camera because I'm trying to get this story out. Excuse me. So, I just, um, trying to make sure these things are all the way in my ears. So, I just had a, um, Craigslist transaction to get rid of, um, some stuff. And this lady told me that she came from Milton, Florida. And... She said she's retired Navy, and I think she said she was in her 70s. Well, she contacted me, and she was one of the few people that contacted me to um, pick up the rest of the free stuff, you know. And I said, you know, bags of goodies or stuff that people can use, you know, because it's stuff that I didn't want to throw away, but... It's not trash, and I wanted other people to be able to use it. It's just stuff that I didn't want or that I didn't have any use for. So she contacted me, I think it was last night or yesterday, and then this morning she called me. I mean, she um, emailed me, and then, I, and then she called me and asked me if the stuff was still available. And so... She said she came all the way from Milton, Florida. And then afterwards, um, she got, like, that was what I recorded, a brief instance of what I recorded earlier. Now, she called me on the phone, like, well, she got the number 33, you know, the number 33. And her last two digits of her phone number has 33 in it. And then she had a red shirt. And she called me up and was already, like, she got into a car accident, like, right around a corner from my apartment or whatever. Well, she had, like, a white van. It was, I think, a white Dodge Caravan. So it it, it was a, a real accident. You know, it was a, it was a real accident. But she had, like, on a faded red shirt with some white writing on it from what it looked like. And she had a cute, cute, cute little small light brown chihuahua. So, like, the uh, like if I would, like, I knew she said she was in a car accident, but my, my hands were, um, you know, preoccupied with bringing all this, bringing the stuff, the bags over there. Because she asked me to bring her bag, bring the bags over there you know, to the, where she had the car accident, like right by the corner store. And they had two police vehicles. And it was a real, like she really got, I think she hit, like, I don't know how she was able to hit, um, she hit this like, looked like a big metal thing. I didn't get to film and record the scenery, uh, you know, cause I didn't want her freaking out or whatever. And then the police were right there. And so she asked me to bring the stuff to, you know, over by the area, and which took me like maybe two blocks, you know. And then, so they had the gang stalking neighbors or people in the area that were, um, like they got in their, they got out of the corner store and they got in their vehicles and they dispersed like right when I was on my way walking to approach, excuse me, her van. So, so then, you know, it seemed like the, my first, I took, it took me two trips to get all the stuff, like, cause I was able to fit like two big bags into my grocery shopping cart, you, you, you know, my little b- buggy that I use for grocery shopping and laundry. And so the first trip, you know, I was trying to ask her, well, you are, 
I, I, I said, you look familiar. Are you the same lady that was my Uber driver one time? And she said, no, but I mean, I guess it's the fact that she just got into an accident seems quite understandable. But, you know, that was an actual accident and the front of her van was messed up, you know. But they had a white truck. The guy said hi to me, but um, and immediately after I turned off the video, the neighbor in the Chevy Travers, he um, started blasting loud music. It seemed like he was following me around the whole scene, like when I was walking, I walked out of this, my apartment right here, and like me walking on a sidewalk and then walking near the dumpster, he passed, so happened to pass by in the parking lot, like passed through here, you know, and then he turned and he was in a vehicle, so of course he was going to make it, like he rolled over to the to the spot where the accident was, where that lady was, he walked, he, he made it, he drove over there before I got over there. And then, you know, in the video, I had the, um, the female, like she was wearing pink hat or pink shoes or something like that. And they hurry up and like everybody dispersed and drove off once I approached near the store. And so um, she, got, they got in their vehicles, and then the black guy, and was so the black Dodge Charger in that white truck. I don't know if that if, if that wasn't a white truck that gang stopped me before, then I I apologize, and I could be wrong, but I think I, like a week or two, or, no, it was two weeks ago, there was um, a white truck gang stalking me with one head like that looked somewhat similar to that, but I thought it was white people driving that one, but this was a black guy driving this one. So I'm, I'm kind of confused now. So, so yeah, that, and so my second trip walking back, I mean, cause seeing like when I, the second trip walking back, the guy made it back over here in that Chevy Traverse. That's the same guy that um was, purping me and but he had on like yellow crocs shoes you know that the last time when i went to try to take out the garbage no it wasn't last time i took out the garbage but it was a couple of days ago you know but then he was blasting music not excessive excessive but he was kind of blasting music in the parking lot in his chevy traverse suv i think it was like a dark gray or something like it wasn't black but it was I think it was dark gray or something like that and so the police the police had um one of the police officers walked over and asked what we what we were doing and I thought I was in I thought I was in some trouble and so you know well, we didn't say Craigslist, but she said, oh, she's just bringing me some stuff. And then he's like, he told her, well, ma'am, you do realize that your van is about to be towed, right? And she said something about, um, I don't know exactly what she said, but she said something about insurance or whatever. And then, um, but then she started to talk very religious or like very so-called Christian or, or whatever. And you know, well, she talked like an honest person, you know, but got me questioning heavily whether or not she was a perp. And but I didn't see any other vehicles involved in the accident. It looked like she, um, it wasn't a fence or a gate, but it was something metal, like railings. It was like some silver metal railings or something that she crashed into and they had two police vehicles but she was all right and the dog was all right but she made some joke saying that the dog was driving you know so it got me questioning whether or not she was a perp i almost want to say she is but like again navy military red shirt number 33 car accident 